Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today I'm going to be opening up some more Pokemon cards. Specifically, we're going to have four of these Galar Power Mini Tins, along with a Galarian Surf Fetched V box. And we will go over what's inside when we get to that box. But first, we'll start with these four Galar Power Mini Tins. Um, on the inside, as far as the packs go, I do know that you can get Darkness Ablaze or the Sun and Moon base set. And bear with me when I open these. These The plastic on these can be brutal. This one doesn't seem too bad so far. Put that to the side. And let's see. So, as you saw, there's like a collectible coin here. And there's a Sun and Moon along with a darkness a darkness ablaze pack and a collectible like art that was on the front of this little tin here it's got galarian surf etched on it so we'll put that aside um, and i'll just pop all four of these mini tins open right here as we get into this this one has galarian rapidash which i mentioned in the last video as being one of the very few alternate form Pokemon that I actually do like that they introduced in the past couple generations since they started reinventing older Pokemon. Um, there's five different arts for these mini tins and I believe I only have three out of the five so I'll show you on screen the other two arts that you can get besides the Galarian Surfetched and this Galarian Rapidash. Did I miss some plastic on here? Oh, I did. See, I told you this plastic can be very tricky on these. Just wondering why it wasn't popping open. It's alright. We all know that I'm a noob. Don't want to rip it open too aggressively and have everything go flying everywhere. There we go. We got another coin here. This one looks like it's on there. Is it Blastoise? Yeah, Blastoise coin. And we got another Sun and Moon pack. And another Darkness Ablaze pack. Along with that collectible picture of the Galarian Rapidash and then this one's just another Galarian Surf Etched so I'll try to I'll try to not suck at getting the plastic off this time but it doesn't look like I can handle it so bear with me yeah I didn't know how you guys felt about um be opening some stuff off camera, so that's why I'm opening these on camera and not just taking the packs out. Who's on this one? Is another Blastoise? Yep, Blastoise coin. Another Sun and Moon pack. And another Darkness Ablaze pack. Um, once I start opening the packs, I'll talk about the cards you want to pull from those sets. Because there are some good ones. Especially since we're going to be searching for some Charizards started the search in the last video and the search will continue seeing as Charizard is by far my favorite Pokemon. This tin is a Galarian Obstagoon, a new evolution of uh, Zigzagoon and Linoon. I'll throw some pictures of them up on the screen so you can see them. Another Blastoise coin along with another Sun and Moon pack. And another Darkness Ablaze. So I think that's I think those are the only two packs you can get from these little mini tins. There's the collectible picture of Obstagoon. With a Galarian wheezing. Cool. Didn't notice that. Is that on the front of the tin? Yeah, it is. Never noticed that before. He's on the tin too. Alright, so for the Sun and Moon base set here, what you're gonna really want to pull are is either the Umbreon or Espeon. GX Secret Rares. Those are both awesome 
evolutions of Eevee. I'd be happy with pulling either of those. And then from Darkness Ablaze, we can continue our search for a Charizard. Um, there's a Charizard VMAX Ultra Rare Full Art card that would be awesome to pull. Um, and then there's also a Rillaboom Secret Rare that I wouldn't mind pulling. So we'll save these for after we get through these Sun and Moon packs. Um, and if we do pull anything nice, I do have these Necrozma sleeves that we got in the last video. And we will sleeve up anything that is worthwhile. Um, I will continue to do the Count the Energy. Um, I will have the Count the Energy um, like pop-up come up. And we will start with these Sun and Moon packs and see if we can get more than, you know, I think we only got two in the last video, correct? Um, here's another one of those codes. One, two, three, four. And we will start off with fire. Ah, uh, all right. Let's see what we can get. A Pelipper. A Timer Ball Trainer card, Pinsir, Wingle, Surskit, Young Goose, Litten, Firo, a Masquerine, um, Reverse Rare, and a Golduck Non Holographic. All right. Try not to get these cards <laughs> in my own way. Last, and when I was recording the last video, um, I kept having them get stuck to my arm because I wasn't putting them to a, to the side fast enough. Get piles accumulating. But this time I'm prepared. I'm using that box from the Elite Trainer box to store your cards. Doesn't that seem like a smart thing to do? I'm not a very smart guy, but that seems like a smart thing to do. Another one of those codes. We will go with Lightning energy this time. Ah, uh, fighting. All right. Trumbeak. Golbat. Energy switch. Caterpie. Skarmory. Moralol. Chinchow. Cutie Fly. A reverse rare Chinchow. And an Ilama full art trainer card. That's nice to see. I remember in the last video, I kept calling everything I pulled a full art, but this is what a real full art is actually supposed to look like. All right, so that deserves a sleeve. Let's sleeve up our Ilama here, and we'll set him up here. And we will continue with the, these sun and moon packs. Um, speaking of sun and moon, I know it was a very divisive game when it came out, especially because it changed up the formula so much. No more gym leaders in the Alola region. Um, and they kind of just did trials against like super strong, beefed up Pokemon. Um, I didn't really mind the change. I thought it was actually pretty refreshing to not ha like have the same formula over and over again like it's been. Um, but if you disagree, let me know. Maybe I could see things from your point of view as to why maybe it shouldn't have been changed or if you agree that it should have been changed. Another code. And one, two, three, four. This time around, let's guess fairy energy. Water. Ah, I'm not off to a good start guessing these energies. See, this is the regular Ilama trainer card. Dragonair. Awesome. Double colorless energy. Wingle. Surskit. Young Goose. Litten, Firo, a Reverse Rabombi, and a Gumshoes GX Ultra Rare card. See, I didn't call it a full art this time because it's not a full art. It's just an Ultra Rare. See, sometimes you got to learn the hard way. But we will sleeve that up and put our Gumshoes GX up top. So we got two nice pulls so far. Not bad. And we are down to our final Sun and Moon base set pack. Let's see if we can, one, guess an energy correctly, and two, if we can pull something awesome. Um, thinking, seeing this Primarina on the front of the pack here, um, I kind of, I like all three of the starters from this generation. 
If I had to pick a favorite, it'd probably be Incineroar. I know last time I did talk about how fire po fire type Pokemon and dragon type Pokemon are my favorite. So I kind of have to default to Incineroar. There's the code. One, two, three, four. All right. Talking about fire type Pokemon, I'll go with fire energy. Hey, there we go. There's one. Let's see if that we can channel that into an awesome pull here. Hypno, Trumbeak, Rainbow Energy, Dratini, Lillipop, Bound Sweet, Psyduck, Litten, pulled a lot of Littens, a Reverse Toxapex, and hey, a Secret Rare Energy. Look at that. Hey, at least it's a secret rare. I'll take that. Let's leave up our secret rare energy. Put that right in the middle. So what was that? Four packs of sun and moon, and we got two ultra rares and a secret rare. I'll take that. But now we'll get into darkness ablaze and see if we can pull the any of them, either of the mega Charizards or the uh, or not mega Charizards, the Charizard V Max or the Rillaboom secret rare. Rillaboom is the grass starter for Generation 7, so kind of ties into Sun and Moon. But let's get going. See, I'm trying to get better at opening these Pokemon packs. I know different sets have different tricks to them. Let's see. That's the code. One, two, three, four. Let's go with Leaf Energy. I don't think we've seen one of those yet today. Nope. Not doing too well, but there's a Staravia, a Zuelis, Pupitar, Hippopotas, a Larvesta, Golette, Skitty, a Dino, a Reverse Arctovish, and look at that, a Rose Full Art Trainer card. Man, we're having much better luck this time around compared to the first video in Pokemon. We did have a few good pulls. I won't tell you what they are. You'll have to go back and watch for yourself. But we're out on a roll here. So let's just keep it going. Now, because this is a Sword and Shield set, I guess we'll talk a little bit about the Sword and Shield games. The new expansion just released, the Crown Tundra. And I kind of don't know how I feel about it. It kind of ruins the game in a sense because you can kind of it's kind of game breaking that you can start a brand new save file go to the crown tundra no matter if you uh win or lose against peony you still get access to the content so you can start the game with a level 65 pokemon and kind of just sweep through the whole story ah all right enough of that we will go with fighting energy Water. Oh. Gotharita. Piers Trainer Card. Powerful Energy. Panpour. Teddy Ursa. Rookity. Torchic. Trapinch. A Reverse Rare. Meltan. And a Grim Snarl V Max. Look at that. Oh, it's a VMAX Gigantamax. Look at that Gigantamax form. Awesome. We are really on fire. But where is the Charizard VMAX Gigantamax? That's what we really want. I'll take the Grim Snarl. But I'm a Charizard fan. Where's my Charizard? All right, two more. Oh, maybe we'll get it here. Got the Gigantamax Charizard on the cover of the pack. See, I don't really know why um, Charmander, Charmeleon, and Charizard are my favorite. Um, I think they might have been the first starters I ever used when I started playing Red and Pokemon Red and Blue way back in the 90s. There's a code. One, two, three, four. That might be the only thing to me that would make sense to me because I had Pokemon Blue. I didn't have Pokemon Red, so I was exposed to like Squirtle and Blastoise first. 
So I don't know. I digress. Let's go with leaf energy. Hey, there we go. Another leaf energy. Let's channel it into some nice pull. Semi Seer, Layer On, Old PC, Teddy Ursa, Pan Seer, Moralo, Wishy Washy, Cuffant, a Reverse Semi Sage, and a Hollow Rare My Low Tech. Awesome. You know what? Just because it's a hollow rare, we'll sleeve this one up too. Plus, my low tech is an awesome Pokemon. All right, down to our last Darkness Ablaze pack here with the Eternatus Gigantamax form. All right. Are they ever going to stop making Dragon type legendaries? Not really complaining because I love dragon types, but seriously, we need some more variety in our legendary Pokemon. One, two, three, four. All right, for this last one, we'll go with Darkness Energy. Psychic. All right. Familiar Bell. Rose Tower. Steeny. Tauros. Rookie Galarian Mr. Mime. Electrike. Dino, a Reverse Rare Shinotic, and a Scizor VMAX Dynamax. Look at that. We're having some amazing luck with our pulls today. That might end up having to be the title of the video. Look at all these. Look at all those pulls right there. How many packs did we open? Eight, and we got three, six, seven sleeveable cards. I will take that. Seven days a week, folks. So that's it for the Galar Power Mini Tins. But now, we'll move these up a little bit. Now, we can get into our Galarian Surfetched V Box. So, we'll try to, sorry about that. Try to open this as efficiently as possible. I'll actually break open the um, cardboard over across here off screen, make it a little bit easier, and I will just pull what's out of the box there. So, after removing the plastic, I will show you what you get inside. I've been able to find a surprising amount of these at like Target and uh, Target and Walmart must not be that popular of a product. It's a code, and here is the promo Galarian Surfetched V. I will sleeve that up because it looks cool. I have not used this in the Sword and Shield video games yet. Here's the giant version of him, Galarian Surfetched V, collectible giant card. We'll set him top middle. Eh, it's actually kind of too shiny. We'll leave him there. Eh, too much glare. I'll take him off screen. Sorry, Surfetched. And let's see, we got, looks like two more Darkness Ablaze. Cool. We'll get another Sword and Shield base set. And this is the granddaddy of them all. The XY Evolutions. Some chances at pulling some classic Pokemon cards. Um, so we already talked about Darkness Ablaze and Sun and Moon. Or, I'm sorry. That's Sword and Shield base set. That's not... It's not Sun and Moon. I was mistaken. But the XY Evolutions. There's two different Mega Charizards you can pull out of here. And there's also the classic art Charizard Hollow Rare that was originally printed in base set that I would love to pull. Um, I haven't pulled one of those in over 20 years. Or probably like 19 years. Um, but let's get going. We'll start with the Darkness Ablaze because we've already opened a bunch of these. We'll save that XY 
evolutions um, for last. See if we can end with the classic Charizard. Another code. One, two, three, four. Let's go with fairy energy. Fighting. All right. Semipor. Spike Myth. Bird Keeper. Larvitar. Grimer. Galarian Darumaka, aka Snowman. Centret. Rowlet. A Reverse Snowman. And a Talon Flame non holographic. Uh, our streak is, uh, a streak ended, it looks like, of these, uh, like, ultra rares and sleeveable cards. All right, let's get to an the final Darkness Ablaze pack. Um, speaking of the Sword and Shield, I was trying to think of a new team to use and a new playthrough. And I was going to try to start breeding Pokemon for the first time. So if you have any tips you can leave about that, please go ahead and do so. Um, for Guess the Energy, we will go with Water. Fighting again. Getting a lot of Fighting Energies, it seems like. Heat Energy. Relicanth. Zwilus. Aaron. Cub Chew. Rowlet. Jigglypuff. Diglett. A reverse Staravia and Mach. Ah, where are our where are our hollows, folks? Where are they? Well, let's get into the Sword and Shield base set. I don't think there's anything too crazy in here. Could be mistaken. If there's anything crazy, I'll throw I'll throw it up on the screen right now. And you all can make fun of me if I'm if I don't remember what's in this set. Code one, two, three, four. And we will go with what should we go with, folks? Metal energy? Lightning. Ah. Quillfish. Energy switch. Dotler. Chinchow. Krogunk. Galarian Meowth, sick of all the different Meowths, <laughs> Score Bunny, Sinistee, a Reverse Rare Energy Retrieval, and a Hollow Rare Bolt End. All right. Not a big fan of Bolt End. They've already done the whole electric dog thing before. But that leads us to our final pack, XY Evolutions. Let's see if we can get any version of Charizard. That's what we really want. Give us Charizard. Pray to the Pokemon God Arceus, or Arceus, however you'd rather pronounce it. We have our code. And the trick on these is three, two, three. There's no guess the energy for this pack. So let's just get right into it. Imakuni's Doduo. Classic looking Metapod. Pidgeot Spirit Link Trainer. Classic Yellow Cheeks Pikachu. Growlithe. Machop. Nidoran. Ponyta. A Reverse Pokedex Trainer. And a Nido King holographic rare. Look at that, the classic art. We'll definitely sleeve that up for nostalgia's sake. I remember I used Nido King almost every single playthrough of those Gen 1 Pokemon games. All right, so we'll do a little quick recap because that was the final pack of the <coughs> opening. <coughs> And we'll start with the most recently pulled. We'll go back to the beginning of the video. So there's the Nido King we just pulled. The Galarian Surfetched V from the box. Promo. A Scizor VMAX Dynamax. The Milotic Hollow Rare. A Grimmsnarl VMAX Gigantamax form. 
a Rose Full Art Trainer, a Secret Rare Energy, a Gumshoes GX, the Ilama Full Art, and that was the first full art that we pulled on the channel was this Ilama. Now that I actually can recognize what a real full art is. And that is it for the opening, folks. If you, if you enjoyed the video, please give it a like. Um, feel free to leave a comment and definitely think about subscribing to the channel for more videos. Next time around, I think we will go back to Yu-Gi-Oh! and we'll open some awesome Yu-Gi-Oh! cards on the channel. Um, I think you guys are going to really like it. It's some really awesome sets that were released um, in the last couple of years. But stay tuned. Have a great day, everyone. Take care.